The journey to Seacrow Island begins in Astrid Lindgren's world, in Vimmerby, a small southern Swedish town. Generations know this story from more than 40 years of television reruns. The journey into family-favorite memories is told through the diary of Marlo, the 17-year-old girl, now a grown woman, who made the voyage each summer with her brothers and father. Seacrow Island, June 1964. Dear Diary, I wonder what God was thinking when he created this island. I guess he thought, I want rough gray cliffs, green trees, oaks, birches, and meadows of flowers. Yes, because I want the whole island to flow with pink thorn roses and white hawthorn in big drifts on that day in June when Marlin Melkishan arrives there. The girl on the pier is named Jorvet, and the dog is Botsman. Our house is called Carpenter's Cottage. It's what they call a nice old weekend cottage. <coughs> Think, if someone saw us when we are supposed to eat, they would think we are insane. Dina lives with her grandfather, old man Sodoman. She has a raven called Jump Along Jack. Today, Daddy had a surprise for me. It is a full snort. So we still have to carry water into the kitchen. Kitchen. Let's see now. Sea Crow Island, July 1966. She is probably the most beautiful child there is, our little Stralin. But she always escapes. You can't leave her for a second. <laughs> By the way, today Daddy finished his work in the kitchen. Yes, he has really done some hard work there. Dear Diary, today I got my prints. Yes, what a day this has been. <laughs> It is strange how summers end so quickly. But in my heart, I will always keep my memories. I will always remember Carpenter's Cottage, the smell of the ocean, the sunsets and summer rains, and all the people. It is the people that I will remember most from Seacrow Island.